Hey class, and welcome to the Multiplying Two-Digit Numbers tutorial. I'm going to show you the grid version, also known as the tic-tac-toe version. Well, why am I showing you this version? Well, because the traditional or long method that uh, I learned or your parents learned might be confusing to some of you. So I wanted to show you a different way to multiply two two-digit numbers. And it's, it's a version that actually hopefully you'll understand pretty quickly. And, and when your parents look at it, they may be like, oh my gosh, I, I wish I learned it like this as a kid because I would totally remember. Um, even some adults have struggled at multiplying two two-digit numbers. So here's a different way to show you. First of all, let's start at something basic. So let's do 12 uh, multiplied by 2. Okay, And uh, either doing it long division, long the long method or just knowing that 12 doubled is 24, right? 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 20, is 2, which is 24. Let me just break it down and explain it to you another way. So a group, a 12, the number 12 is actually a group of 10, right? 10, right? Plus another 2. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. So I just broke it down by place value here. And say we had to multiply it by 2, which we just did. Really what we're doing is we're multiplying a group of 10 by 2, so 10 times 2 is 20. And we're taking the group of 1s, so 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is still 24, right? I just broke down 12 into 10 times 2 and 2 times 2. And it gives you the exact same number. It's the same idea behind it, it's just we're just doing it a different way. So let me show you how this can apply. We, do, we use almost the exact same method as here, except the problem is we have, I'm going to add another digit here and make it two two-digit numbers. So let me show you by doing another one here. So let's say we had uh, 35 times 12. And this is where I break it down into the tic-tac-toe. In order for me to break it down, I'm going to break it down kind of like I did that, but I'm going to use a grid to organize it. I always love using things to organize my numbers. It helps me keep myself organized because I can be a little messy. So same thing, 35 we're going to break down. It's actually 30 plus 5, Okay, just like I practice over here. And 12 is actually 10 plus 2. I'm going to change colors so you can see what my answer is like. So first of all, I'm going to multiply 30 times 10. And here's a trick. There are two zeros, right? Three zero and one zero. 30 times 10, I'm automatically going to put one zero and another zero because I see two zeros here, right? 30 and 10. One, two, I write in two zeros. And now all I have to do is multiply three times one, which is three. Okay, so I'll do it again for the next part. So I'm going to go 30 times two. How many zeros do I have? Well, I have one zero right, 30, and then 3 times 2 equals 6. I'm going to do this one here. 5 times 10, well, there's one zero. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 10 is 50, right? And the last one, uh, we have no zeros, actually, right? There's no zeros, it's only 5 times 2, and 5 times 2 equals 10. I just did it in blue and red just so you can see the idea that I just throw in the extra zeros here. And now what we're just going to do is we're just going to take all these numbers here and we're just going to add them together. So here we go. 300. I use the same strategy. I try to write in all four numbers from greatest to least. 300, 60, 50, and 10. And I'm just going to add them all together. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 goes 0. 0 plus 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 1 is 12, 1, 2 for 12, and 1 plus 3 is 4. And the answer is 420. So it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to actually worry, you don't have to worry about, you know, 5 times 2 equals 10, so put a 1 here, and put a 0 there, and then multiply and then add. It just does it as you actually just multiply, uh, each sets of place values, and then just add them together. And so it's just a different way of showing you how to do it. Uh, I'll do another tutorial again, uh, a problem for you to solve, and uh, you can do it along with me in the next one. I'll put a problem up and practice with me again. So it's just another way. Good luck.